How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, I'm super excited to give this beer a whirl because it's from a brewery I love, Castle Brewery. And it is a McQueen's um, Nessie. Uh, it's a Vienna Lager from the same company that produces um, oh, Sammy Claus. Space for a hot second. Sammy Claus, the whole Sammy Claus line is one of my favorite beers. Even stuff Schloss Eggenberg. Um, Schloss Eggenberg, Castle Brewery, same thing. Um, they do an Erbach, they do a Doppelbach. Everything is delicious. I've never actually seen this beer before, but I stopped by a local um, uh, beer bar today, uh, Grand Opening, Sabatini's Pizza, or Sabatini's Beer Bar in Exeter, so check it out. It's fucking fantastic. Or watch the video. Um, I posted about it. Um, and I never saw this before, and I'm just a huge Schloss Eggenberg fan, so I figured I had to pick it up. So as far as what it says on the bottle, um, original, original Affenberg Schloss Eggenberg, um, let's see, Gerbert Ost Whiskey Malts, which is a whiskey malt red beer, product of Austria, McQueen's Nessie, um, yeah, since 18, uh, or 1148. Product of Austria, 5% alcohol by volume, and brewed and bottled by Castle a Brewery Eggenberg, and that's pretty much it. I mean, quintessential Sammy Claus Eggenberg Castle style bottle. A um, little bit weird with the whole tan um, labeling. Uh, not weird, it's just kind of off. Usually a lot of their labeling style is silver or black, so yeah, such is life. I dig it. I'm super excited to give this a whirl, just because it's like a brewery that I love, and I'm I didn't even know, I'm, I didn't look into it because I never heard about it before, so, yeah, let's see what this has to offer. I mean, you know, it's a Vienna lager, um, which means, you know, Vienna malt, probably Munich and maybe Crystal or something like that in there, but you guys know how to bring out flavor, and they're masters in the, in the lager style, so, uh, zero head whatsoever, a little bit of white, uh, cloudy retention around the edge, but that's pretty much it. Super beautiful color to it. Um, it's got this really nice, like, uh, orange, brownish hue with a super unfilteredness. It actually looks pretty damn nice. Um, lager in style, just a little bit easier than what you typically see, especially with American based lagers, especially adjunct style stuff. So, yeah, I mean, she looks nice. Let's see what she smells like. Very nice. Super sweet malt. Really not much there as far as hot presence, but that, that, it says here, whiskey malt, red beer, it's a, you know, quote unquote whiskey malt, um, it's a really nice sweetness to it. Almost like it is a low level lager that was almost barrel aged in like a little bit of whiskey. Yeah, it smells super sweet, super inviting, super tasty, um. Yeah, just sweet malt. That's all you're getting out of it. You know, we all love complex beers, but sometimes simple is better, and this smells pretty damn good. So she looks nice. She smells nice. So she tastes nice. Cheers. Well, I'll tell you what right now. I could drink 17 of these in a row and have zero issue with it. Um, a fin. It's a lager. Not expecting the world there. Um, not a huge amount of flavor, but what the flavor it does have is pretty spot on. Zero flaws whatsoever. I mean, it's clean as clean could be. Just that little bit of like a caramel, like uh, caramel kind of uh, whiskey malt, you know, whatever you want to call it, whiskey malts, whatever. It's like a nice caramel malt, almost like a subtle, beefed up Pilsner is what it is, as opposed to a lager. Um, but, uh, you know, um, Schloss Edinburgh is known for their off-the-cuff, crazy, kooky madooky lager in style. So, for them to come up with something a little bit different, um, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's it's quintessentially sessionable. The only problem I have with it is it's pricey. Um, it's a beer you would want to chug. Hmm, get a really nice deep caramel out of it now. It's a beer you'd want to session out. It's a perfect session beer. They'd want to drink a case of this, but you're talking, you know, I pick it up as a single at a local place. There's no price on it. Um, really nice, decent yeast cake in that sucker, too. 
kind of weird at a low ABV beer. But um, I forget what I pay for it. I think maybe four bucks, five bucks for a single bottle of a 5% beer that's a little bit, you know, on a pricey end. Um, it's something you want to be a little bit uh, lower on cost so you can pound a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, absolutely delicious for its style. It's the best lager. Let's put it this way. The best lager I've ever had in my life. Base lager. I mean, so you have companies like um, uh, Perfect Example, Jack's Abigail, take all their beer do you do lagers. Well, they're, you know, kind of pushing the edge and, and creating different beers off of that lager style. Um, this is a lager. It's, a, it's, it's it's, in its purest sense, kind of like a lager. Um, but, uh, yeah, best one I've ever had. Um, plain lager. Probably the best lager in general I ever had was the Orchley from um, Harveston Breweries. It was a barrel-aged, uh, whiskey barrel-aged lager. That was super delicious. Put a barrel-aged, and this is just straight-up lager. So, yeah, pretty delicious beer. Rating-wise, I give this 90. 90 overall. Uh, value and availability, like I said, it's a bit pricey, so value, I'm going to give it like a three. I'm sure in four packs, it's probably more around like $10 to $15, but it should be a, you know, $30 to $40 case kind of beer. So three on a, on a value scale and uh, availability, I've only seen it once in my life, so I'm going to give it a va availability of a two because I know where to get some, but I've never seen it before. So there you go. Um... McQueen's Nessie from uh, Schloss Edinburg. Um, absolutely delicious lager. Um, like I said, the best lager I ever had. Super delicious. Nice, uh, like I said, that caramel is there. It's subtle, but at the same time, it's prominent. Super deliciousness, zero hot presence. Um, thin mouthfeel, but not the thinnest in the world. It's a really nice beer. I mean, if you like lagers, if that's what you like, and you want to try something that's a little bit more robust, or you have a friend that's kind of, you want know, to transition them into better beer, this would be a nice gateway beer. And like I said, if the price point was lower and you can get it for a decent price, it'd be an absolute perfect session beer. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can, excuse me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. And, uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a uh, nice lager right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.